These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Kaylee O'Kelly with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. It is a busy start to your week. And it does begin with a massive fire in Phoenix, a subdivision under construction destroyed. It sparked around 1130 last night near 59th Avenue and Baseline Phoenix Fire telling us they found several homes fully engulfed in those flames when they got there. And they had to call in crews from seven other cities to help fight these flames. They did run into difficulties as well, getting water to those flames. This is new housing development. Some of these, uh, the water grid isn't fully set up to reach some of our fire hydrants, uh, did not have connecting water to it. They were able to uh, find hydrants that did have a water supply. Also, access was very difficult here. As you can see that uh, behind me, this whole entire uh, uh, complex is a gated, uh, community, so you are going to see that firefighters are going to have difficult getting back there. Crews are monitoring hot spots as we speak, and the investigation task force is working to figure out why it happened. ABC 15 promising to stay on top of this and what it means for the neighborhood and those homes already sold. Building a brighter future here in Arizona, the Biden administration announcing more than six and a half billion dollars in a preliminary agreement for the Taiwan Semiconductor manufacturing company to create tiny chips that power everything from smartphones to cars and even more. One fabrication site under construction in North Phoenix and the investment will now secure a third chip factory in the Valley. It's part of the Chips and Science Act. We are highlighting really some awesome work by our creative residents. Today we will know which I voted sticker will be worn by voters across Maricopa County in November. Voting close at midnight for the adult and youth contest and the winners will be announced later today. The young winner will take home a pizza party prize. The winning designs will be added to Maricopa County's six existing sticker designs. We're counting down now till April 15th and whether you file by tax day or you request an extension, the key is to file on time so you can avoid penalties and other costly mistakes. It's crunch time for Gina Pinto and her employees at this Liberty Tax Office. Where she's helping last minute filers like Adam Bizak. You will be surprised how many people wait. Every year we see people walking in the door at 11 p.m. on April 15th. Which can create a host of problems. A lot of people don't bring uh, all the documentations that they need. Just as important as filing on time, Mark Steber with Jackson Hewitt says don't lose sight of the need for accuracy. He says if you're still waiting for a W-2 or 1099, don't assume it's coming. Track down any missing forms by reaching out to your employer or other issuer. And just because you didn't get it doesn't mean you can leave it off your tax return. Another common mistake, thinking an extension gives you more time to pay. If you're going to owe taxes, you have to have those paid in on time by tax day, April 15th, or run the risk of penalties and interest. And if you're anticipating a refund, there's really no reason to delay. For last minute help in person, Mark says watch out for fake tax preparers who guarantee a refund, won't tell you the refund amount, or refuse to sign your tax return. Whether you're doing it yourself or visiting an office. No, don't wait. No, no. don't wait. Or rush and make mistakes. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures climbing into the upper 70s here on this Monday in northern Arizona. It's a mix of 40s, 50s, and 60s. We'll see a very slight chance for showers in spots like Yavapai County. A chance for a few snow showers along the rim too today, but accumulations look minimal. We're talking maybe a dusting at best in spots like Flagstaff. We'll have to watch the clouds though. Of course, it's eclipse day, so we'll see the clouds through the morning. Then it looks like they thin out a little bit late morning just in time for that eclipse. So maybe a passing cloud or two by then, but overall seeing more clear by then before clouds move back in. And then again, this afternoon, we'll be watching for some scattered snow showers along the rim, but minimal impacts overall. Winds then pick up tomorrow. Temperatures will climb into the mid-80s on your Tuesday, then upper 80s by Wednesday. And look what's happening Thursday and Friday. We're going all in into those 90s, mid-90s Thursday and Friday. But luckily, at least this time around, they look short-lived. We've got another disturbance to watch early next week that'll start to cool us down this weekend, back into the 80s Saturday and Sunday. For the latest headlines, weather, and traffic, hit us up at abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. Make it a great day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.